hey guys what's good what's popping welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video and again it's been a while since i have been seen here i know i know i am problematic <laughs> very problematic but this time i am back and i'm really back for good for good for good because i don't have stuff holding me back anymore okay we are done with that since i have not been here for a while and in my last videos uh, i haven't really talked about things that were going on i thought i was going to make a live update just to yeah update you guys uh, on what is going on in my life right now at the moment so if you are interested to know what has been going on in the life of lois stay tuned and let's get right into this video so what has been going on in my life first of all i have a new background once again i was getting tired of the white background because my wall is not really that interesting but everything else look really weird i still don't know if i really like this one my sister is um a lot into like decorating stuff and um she's very very good at it and the whole place is actually looking very good so i thought that maybe i should like put this in my background i don't know how long this will last but for now it will do a lot has been happening in my life i have to be honest i mean we still have um corona going around but uh in our country here in germany the the restrictions have gone down a lot a lot a lot a lot like we are allowed to do so much more which is so good and just like the freedom like finally like we can go out and eat in restaurants again we can see our friends uh we can literally go like you want to go outside you know before you just didn't want to honestly like i didn't want to go outside personally but now with the weather getting better and it getting hotter and everything being finally opening like oh, outside is open okay we have been waiting for this for so long and now it's finally here like can't contain my excitement to be honest like i'm so happy that that life is starting to get back to normal we can have weddings birthday parties everything is possible of course you have to like get tested or be um vaccinated but um still i rather like get tested every time if it means that i'm allowed to get out like honestly but yeah i've been going outside again I've been working out more. I just started recently working out because I was just too busy with university. Uh, but like now I really found like that working out in the morning is really like good for my mental health. So I've been doing that. Yeah, speaking of university, guys, I am finally done okay i am done today like this morning i got the results of my final exams and the results were good they were so good like i was i was literally shook i'm gonna be honest with you because i thought personally i did so bad i really thought i did bad i really thought i did bad i was just happy that i was just like done writing these exams but i did good i really passed with good grades and I'm just the happiest. I'm really so, so happy. Like this was the perfect start in my day. And yeah, I'm a graduate. I'm gonna graduate. But I'm so, I'm really, uh, I, I just can't contain my excitement because uh, it's been a long while to get here you know i'm never going to school again i'm never going to university i'm never gonna have to study again this is this is insane because i have been in school since i was six years old i'm 26 now i've been in school for 20 years okay i've been studying and trying to make something out of myself for 20 freaking years and now it's over like how can i not be happy about that i'm really i'm just really Oh, I'm just really glad that I finally graduated. When I graduated from high school, it was in 2014. 
And after that, um, I studied law, right? But uh, I dropped out. And right then, I already felt like I'm a failure. And everything that is going to come now is probably not going to work out for me because I really had no idea what I wanted to do. I always knew I was like interested in event uh, in events management because um, when I was finishing high school, the, the choice was between law and events management. And I tried out law which didn't work out for me so i tried out events management and that thankfully like i'm so glad it worked out and this is really my thing what i love to do and um yeah and now i have my degree in it it's just so unreal it's just so unreal but we did it okay i did it i did it i did it round of applause again for me because I'm really proud of myself. I'm very proud of myself because I'm really, I'm really lazy and I really didn't think I was going to go through with it. I was thinking about dropping out a million times, even while I was studying for the finals. I was like, okay, can I just like drop out right now? Because I cannot do this anymore, but I did it. And this way I'm just like very happy and very excited. I'm so sorry for maybe coming off overly excited, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just finished with school now that i'm finished with school my plan was to just chill and do nothing because um i didn't have a job i actually didn't have a job since october 2020 because uh of corona and stuff they had to let me go and i didn't work ever since i got paid for going to uni and stuff uh and it was enough money to um uh, yeah help me out I moved out, I moved in with my sister, um, I'm still living here with her, and um, I said to myself, okay, when you're done, maybe you can just like chill, but that's like, it, it, it doesn't go, like, it, it, it wouldn't have worked because I really need like money, I need to pay my, like I have bills to pay, you know, um, and it really wasn't going good with all and due to like losing my apartment and stuff uh, i had to take money from my savings to pay for stuff and everything so i didn't have enough money saved to be like okay i'm just gonna chill for i don't know three months and not do anything and just live my life do youtube travel or whatever um yeah i didn't i, I didn't uh have enough resources to do that so i was not really worried about work while I was studying because I was like, okay, let me finish this first. And when I'm done with this, then I can worry about this. Like really uh, during my studies, I didn't really care about work at all. And because God is who he is, he took care of it and of me because now I also have a new job. And you guys, I didn't have to raise a finger to get this job. And this is what like, this is just like so insane to me because like how much luck can you actually have like to me it was really like how much good things can actually happen to me um because i was i was not looking for a job yet but i was starting to think about it I'm like okay i really need to hurry up i have like insurances to pay this and this and that but i was also too lazy to apply for jobs i'm gonna be honest i didn't want to like start writing a cv um cover letters and stuff like that i hate that i hate it so much having interviews this i just i just don't like it okay like i said just like how god works the job that had to let me go they called me and they're just like yeah uh we heard you are finishing school and stuff like that um even though we are still struggling a bit due to corona and stuff we still have a job to offer you and this was for me like huh like how literally like how okay everybody is struggling the events management sector is struggling especially okay because like no events are taking place due to corona and they still found a place for me and this is what was very good because my prayer was like god make it easy for me and he made it easy like i don't have to write a new cv i don't have to write cover letters i don't have to have a interview okay i'm just gonna like sign my contract in two weeks and then i'm in you know easy like everything is 
coming so easy to my life it's like so refreshing okay for one it's just so refreshing that everything is working out the way it should that's why i'm so grateful i'm so grateful for everything right now okay i'm really really grateful so yeah this is also news to me i have a new job another round of applause okay stop i need to stop being annoying yeah what else is new so when it comes to my hobby oh i've been very 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 into k-pop these days uh, i have two friends of mine who introduced me into that because i was like bored and i told them i need something new to do and they're like okay we are just gonna give you this and now i'm obsessed No, but it's really cool though. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Like it's a, it's a different world, you know. I love music, but I s always stuck with Western music. Uh, I don't know why. I really don't know because uh, I don't really know why I was not really open to like uh, other type of music than like Western music here. You know the typical things that we all listen to. Um, but I never really listened to the K-pop and I also always said I'm never gonna listen to it But now yeah, it's uh, literally all I listen to <laughs> um, But um, Yeah, if you don't listen to K-pop listen to BTS They have good music I promise like this is not a lie they have good music What I have also really been doing now that I have been into K-pop is, is I started learning Korean um which is very fun and it's hard but a bit easier than i thought it would be i always wanted to learn something like korean or um, japanese i remember when i wanted to learn japanese but i got like i got discouraged you know because they don't have like the usual letters that we have you have to learn a whole new alphabet and stuff like that and it's so easy in korean honestly and this one i'm gonna just stick with korean uh yeah i'm learning that i'm still learning portuguese also i'm gonna learn both at the same time i really want to challenge myself and learn both at the same time and see how i'm gonna do uh, if it's even possible to learn two different languages at the same time but i got this okay i got this i'm on a roll at the moment everything is going good so i also got this i'm, I'm gonna keep doing that what i also want to do or keep doing is singing more i really wish i had like time to get singing lessons maybe i will maybe i will i will just see because you know my job is like from nine to six so basically my whole day goes by or my whole day uh, is taken up by my job so i just have a little bit in the morning but that time i want to use to work out so i want to wake up earlier in the morning work out go to work and when i come home I have to do all my other activities um, and I really want to do singing more like I really want to get singing lessons again like I used to I also want to do dancing more because of corona we had like to stop our courses which was so upsetting uh, but I want to get back to that as well I have to check if the places are open again so I can go back to that yeah these two things and of course YouTube um i have to find time like i have to see how i'm gonna do this if i will always have the energy to record after work i will see but i think i just have to take one day maybe sundays or something uh, after church or something uh, where i can just be recording a lot of stuff you know a lot of content in one day so i have enough prepared because i didn't do that in the past and um yeah it bit me in the ass honestly uh and i want to do it right this time so i have to see how i'm gonna do that now that i really have a new job because my plan was to not do anything you know my plan was to hang out and chill so i would have had time to do all these things during the day but now that work comes in and it is very important i really do need the money i have to plan everything new again but i got this i got this i will see how this is gonna work out though yeah what i would also like to do is like travel you know if i really had enough money saved if i had enough money saved and i didn't have like so many obligations in this country i think i would pack my stuff and go 
I don't know, to Korea for six months or something. I swear, I would go to Korea for six months. And for another six months, I would go to, I don't know where, France, no, Portugal, so I can learn the language, or Canada or something. Like, if I didn't have all the obligations, and if I really did have the money to just say, okay, guys, I'm out, I'm leaving y'all, I would go. I would go right away because I feel like in the world, there's so much more to see, and we shouldn't just bind ourselves to one place, you know? Of course, you need money and you have to work and stuff like that but uh, sometimes i wish i could drop it all i could just drop it all and make a world tour and just like travel and see what else the world has to offer let's see how soon i can actually do that because i really want to like the tension between me and just dropping it all is like it's tiny this 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 who knows maybe it will happen <laughs> yeah but um yeah i think this is everything that is really going on in my life right now yeah i've been healthy i've been good i hope all of you guys are doing good as well and that everybody is healthy too i know the virus really took up a lot of our time but we still here we out here we still going and we should continue to just like do as good as we're doing right now i think like the world or most part of the world is doing way better right now and we finally can go out and do stuff and this is just like so how do you say not satisfying we leaving okay to know that we are slowly getting back to normal and uh, yeah for the future i just um don't want to worry about that when i'm honest i just want to not worry about now i really learned to worry about now about my day to day about finding happiness and the things that are happening right this moment because if i didn't learn that because of the work situation I had, I would have probably like freaked the hell out because I'm a person who gets stressed really fast and knowing myself, I should have been very stressed. You know, I had, I already had like the stress from studying and everything and with no job and stuff and the graduation coming up and everything. If I had worried about the future a month ago, then I don't know where I would be, right? like i'm honest i don't know um how i would be doing right now but i just learned to appreciate everything that you have in this moment to like find paradise in in the things around you before you go ahead and worry about the next thing and um it has been doing me good and uh that's why i don't want to worry about tomorrow i don't want to worry about next week i know that everything right now is going great I would just be continuing to be in this vibe and this positive vibe and yeah and then we'll just see what comes next and for the content i have stuff planned i really have a lot planned and now i can like finally see my friends again and record videos with them and go outside and i can vlog again because i am allowed to go places finally so this is what i'm gonna do so stay tuned for the content that is gonna come i will try to be as consistent as i can i promise i will try to be more consistent like there's no more two months gone like i cannot do this anymore <laughs> i don't want to do this like i want to be consistent and i want to post videos and i want to record videos this is something i love to do something i like so i want to keep doing it so um yeah hopefully this is gonna go the way i want it to go but i'm very positive about that so yeah everything can come my way now i'm ready yes so this is the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for updating on my life i really appreciate it so you know what to do if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not yet leave a comment and uh share the video please share the video 
show it to your friends show it to your families i would really appreciate that i would say i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching bye